Hello, everybody, and a warm welcome to the update on our Q3 figures of the Nemechek Group. A short introduction from my side. My name is Stephanie Zimmermann, and I'm VP Investor Relations at the Nemechek Group. We already published our Q3 figures last Thursday on October 28th, and I would like to briefly present you the key figures and strategic highlights. So let's get started. Starting with an overview of the key figures for the third quarter. On a high level, we had a very successful development with the trends we had already seen in the first half of the year. Strong growth combined with a high profitability. Our top line grew by almost 14%. Main growth drivers were once again our subscription and SaaS revenues with an increase of almost 50% on a currency adjusted basis. Based on this, we were also able to increase our share of subscription and SaaS revenues to a new record high of 20%. The strong increase in profitability resulted in a margin of 32.1%, which was above the previous year level. This was a function of the strong revenue growth and improved efficiency as well as a healthy operating leverage. Our earnings per share increased over proportionally by 36% to now 30 cents per share, also because of a lower tax rate in the United States. Let's move to the next page. On that page, I would like to show you a summary of our key business highlights after the first nine months. Despite a substantial FX headwind in the first half of the year, mainly driven from a weaker US dollar, we were able to achieve year-to-date revenues of 494 million euros, a growth of 13%. On a currency neutral consideration, we even grew a little bit stronger by almost 16%. Besides a strong top line and a margin increase, our cash conversion hit a new height with more than 100% conversion rate. As I do not want to focus only on our financial performance, I would also like to highlight our various ongoing strategic initiatives. First of all, our internationalization efforts so bringing our established European brands to the US and vice versa. Additionally, we continued to work on our solutions and the reduction of our group's complexity by integration of some of our brands. And lastly, the ongoing growth of our subscription and SaaS offerings underpin the success of our segment tailored strategy, in which each strategy is based on its geographic exposure the customer needs and the acceptance of the customers. Coming to the next page. On that page, we see the entire picture of the development of our recurring revenues. We are very, very pleased with the development. The chart on the left side shows the impressive multi-year development of this revenue category. While we started with a share of just 5% of total revenues in 2018, we were able to gradually increase our subscription share from 9% to 15% and even 20% as of today. During last year, we promised an acceleration of this category on which we are now delivering, and there is definitely more to come. As a consequence, this drove the share of the entire recurring revenues to now 63% of total sales. Moving on to the next page, and let's dive deep dive into the divisions. Starting from the left side, the design segment recorded an increase in revenues of 7.6% in Q3, driven also by a very strong subscription growth of more than 70%. The EBITDA margin stayed on a similar high level like the quarters before. Please keep in mind that design's margin in 2020, so last year, was somewhat artificially high due to the cost-saving measures we quickly implemented during the peak of the uncertainty caused by the pandemic. The next segment is the build segment. In this segment, we continued with a very strong growth momentum and generated a growth of almost 17%. And also we delivered a very, very high margin. The largest contributor to this result was once again, our biggest brand, Lubin, which continued with its strong growth in new users. The continued success confirms the strategic decision to shift the start of the subscription and SaaS migration of Bluebeam 
to next year, meaning 2022. Our third segment, the managed segment, also grew nicely by almost 14%. We were able to win new customers despite a still somewhat challenging market environment. And finally, our media segment really had a stellar quarter with record results in terms of growth, 37% year on year, as well as a high profitability. The segment with its brand Maxon went through a very successful transformation over the last couple of years by many means, which is now paying off. On this page, you see an overview of our AEC segments. And to summarize, what we see is really that it's um, fair to say that the appealing situation has not material changed in the recent weeks and months, and that almost all lights are still on green regarding the current market environment, as well as the future outlook. The residential sector continues to be very strong, mainly driven by the demand for homes in an environment of historically low interest rates. The same is true for the infrastructure market, where we see a very healthy demand situation at the moment, which is additionally supported by the various planned or already passed government investments, such as major infrastructure programs. Some degree of uncertainty remains with the subcategory of commercial offices. We are seeing that facility managers are still acting cautiously with their investments while people are getting back to the offices. Concluding the presentation with the updated 2021 outlook on the last page. As a result of our strong first nine months of the year, our intact long-term growth drivers and our strong operational business with a high portion of planable revenues and its broad regional and market-related diversification, we are very confident to reach the upper end of our previously, meaning in July this year, increased guidance for the full year 2021. So all in all, we expect a revenue growth in the area of 14% and an EBDA margin in the area of 32%. Our assessment is based on the assumption that there will be no material change in the economic conditions in the fourth quarter and that the COVID pandemic will continue to be under control. Rest assured that we will continue to monitor the situation very closely and that Nemechek is well prepared to act swiftly should the situation change. And with that, I would like to thank you for your attention. Hope to see you soon. Hi there. Since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. And that's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and added value content for you. If you're a company and want to find out how we at seat 11a can make a company video with and about you please email us at content at seat 11a.com